What's up everybody, it's Charles. Today we are going to be replacing the headlights on the R32. From the day that I bought this car, one of the biggest things you guys have been saying is, Charles, clean these headlights. They look terrible. And I totally agree with you. But the whole time I said, guys, don't worry. I got a plan for something even better than just cleaning these. Sure, we could clean these and use buffing compound or toothpaste or spray paint, whatever people use. But ultimately, they're 15 year old headlights and the light output was never amazing from them anyway. So what I did is I waited and upgraded to these full LED headlights. So these headlights are from VX Tuning. They're full LED, they're glass lenses, they're direct install and fully plug and play so you don't need to add any wires or anything. As you can see, the Humble Mechanic logo is on the projector. Now this won't really impact light output at all and it doesn't project the logo either. It just looks super cool right there. So all of the lights in this headlight are LEDs. We have our low beam, our high beam, our city light, our fog light and our turn signal. We roll it around to the back. It has the adjusters just like the factory one and a factory connector. We won't have to do anything else to the car other than install these lights and maybe do a very slight adjustment. Now, I chose to do something that looked pretty close to the factory R32 lights. You can change pretty much everything inside of here that you want, chrome, black, different LEDs, anything like that. Of course, I'll put links down in the description to the headlights and everything else we're gonna use today. We're gonna start on the driver's side, remove the cover for the battery box. We're going to need it to remove at least this ducting for the intake but I'm gonna go ahead and remove them both. Slide these up and out of the way. Next, we're gonna need to take our center grill off. I usually don't take this off. I just pop it up out of the bumper so I don't have to mess with the hood pull. So we'll pull from the corners and then pull it gently up. I just kind of leave it here so I can get access to these bolts. Next, we're gonna take the screws that go from the fender liner to the bumper cover. If you turn the wheel all the way, it makes getting to these bolts much, much easier. We just did the right front. We also need to do the exact same thing on the left front. Next, we need to kind of get underneath the car and remove these bolts on the lower splash shield. Only the R32 will have these. Next, we need to remove our outer grill pieces and we can get to our 10 millimeter nuts right behind here. On the driver's side, go ahead and reach back and pull our ambient temp sensor out. Do the same thing on the passenger side. Next, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pull the bumper cover away from the car a little bit because we still have to disconnect our side marker lights. I'm also gonna flip this front grill up so it's out of our way. Slide it forward, reach down, disconnect the side marker light, slide it back on, reach down, disconnect it. If you didn't do your ambient temp sensor, do that now. Come to the front and slide your bumper cover off. All right, it is time to remove our old headlights. It's held in with four screws. We got two at the bottom, two at the top. Now we can slide our headlight forward, reach behind it and disconnect it. You can see here's our factory headlight. Say goodbye to this old girl. Here is our brand new freshy fresh headlight. Remember, it's just plug and play. So we'll go ahead and plug it in. We'll just kind of nurse it into its place. I like to start the top bolts first, then the bottom ones. Now, normally I'll leave them a little loose so that if we need to make any adjustments, we can do that. We're gonna have to also check the alignment to the fender and the bumper cover. We'll do the same thing on the driver's side. Gently pull our headlight away, reach behind and unplug it. Now notice that our new one also has these alignment dowels right here. And this is where the screw goes. You want to make sure that these line up to the holes right next to where the screws go. We will take our new fresh headlight, set it in place, plug it in. Go ahead and start your screws. All right, now that we have our headlights loosely installed, we really want to go ahead and test them here. That way, if there's any kind of issue, we don't have to take the bumper cover back off to fix it. You want to make sure you run through all of the lighting.
All right, we tested our lights, everything works, they are awesome. Let's go ahead and snug down the bottom bolts for our lights. You have a little bit of adjustment here, so I like to kind of hold the light in place while I snug these down. Same thing on the driver's side. Make sure your gap along the fender looks nice. All right, let's go ahead and put our bumper cover back on. Don't forget to plug in your side marker lights. Start with our T30s. Go ahead and snap your grill down into place. Next, we'll put our T25s in that hold the fender liner to the bumper cover. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Next, we'll put our T25s that go across the bottom in. Tighten up your 17 millimeter bolts if you loosened them. Put our 10 millimeter nuts on. Plug in our ambient temp sensor and snap our grill back into place. Pretty much the same thing for the passenger side. We just don't have that temperature sensor to worry about. Put our air ducting back in. Remember your hood cable goes inside or technically in front of the one on the passenger side and outside or behind the one on the driver's side. All right, so our headlights are in. They look amazing. I'm super excited. I will also be installing a Laminex cover over these to help protect them. Even though they're glass lenses, we wanna do that little extra bit. Now let's compare some light output. This footage here is of the original headlights, exactly the way they were before we pulled them out and replaced them. And this is the light output from the LED upgrade. Now I mentioned that these lights might also need a little bit of tweaking on the aim. The way I like to check that is to park about 10 to 15 feet from a wall on a level surface and see where the beams are. If they're pointing up and away really far or down at the ground, we need to tweak those. Mike does a great job of getting these headlights aimed before he even sends them. So you might just have to do a little tiny bit of tweaking. All right, so there we have it. The upgrade you guys have been asking about for a really long time. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm super jazzed about these headlights. Of course, I'll put links to the lights and everything we use today down in the description. And hey, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. With that, I'm out. Have an awesome day and I'll talk to you guys again next time.